Yo, 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 we back again. It's LeBron James, DraftKings, week five, NFL picks. We're going to start it off because we got an early one, y'all. We got an early one live from London. We got the 930 game, man. Um, we got the 2-2 two two Jets, you know, at the 4-0 Vikings. And I, I know I say at, it's not in Minnesota. I just said it's from London, but you get me. Vikings is the host team. Um, you know, I watched um, Minnesota, man. Come on, listen. You know, the way they're playing right now, Sam Darnold is the MVP of the, uh, of the NFL through, week, uh, through four weeks. And uh, I see them keeping it going. So I'm going to go with the Vikings uh, coming out victorious 5-0 and um, in that game. And I got three players that I need to pick for touchdowns. Justin Jefferson is going to keep it going. So he's my first pick. Then with the 1 o'clock slate, uh, we got the 1-3 and three Browns headed to Washington to play, uh, play the Commanders. That's 3-1. and one. Man, listen, man, Jaden Daniels been cooking. You know, these last two games, he's been playing, uh, you know, beat up on the uh, Cincinnati Bengals in Cincinnati. Then they flew all the way across country down to Arizona and beat up on the Cardinals. I see them keeping it going. You know, I know the Browns is my team, you know, but, um, you know, I just see the commanders keeping it going. They're improving 4-1 um, on the season. Then we got the uh, we got a division game. We got the 2-2 two two Ravens headed to uh, Cincinnati to play the 1-3 uh, Cincinnati Bengals. Um, with that said, I see um, I see Baltimore going to three and two on uh, the way they've been playing. You know that that uh, that week four game in Baltimore versus Buffalo, they played some good football, man. And then once again, King Henry came through, so he's gonna be my second touchdown pick um, in week five. Got King Henry right there, baby. Then we got another division game. We got the two and two Colts uh, headed down to Jacksonville, the all and four Jacksonville Jaguars. You know, a bit of a surprise, man. We thought that Jacksonville would be a lot better. Um, this season, you know, it's a long season, man, but uh, we're getting to we're getting to crunch time. So um, but I just don't see him getting it done, man. I don't see him getting it done. I, I see, um, you know, the coach coming down there. I see, uh, you know, uh, QB one, uh, keep it going. And uh, the coach uh, go to three and two uh, on the season. Here we go. We got the Dolphins headed down uh, to New England to face um, face the Patriots. You know, both teams have been, you know, been struggling, obviously. You know, obviously the Dolphins without their, without their star quarterback, Tua, uh, for obvious reasons. And, you know, new coaching staff and everything going into New England. Uh, Jacoby Brissett, you know, in right now. But I got the Dolphins uh, prevailing in that game. I got them coming out with a win, a big win, and a division game. Oh, man, this is a big game. This is probably, it's probably the biggest game, I think, in the 1 o'clock slate. This is the 3-1 and one Bills headed down to Houston, man, to face the 3-1 and one Houston Texans. Bills a little bit, you know, they're a little bit angry after that, you know, after the way they you know, performed versus Baltimore and Baltimore and the Texans had a come from behind win, you know, last week. So um, who's feeling good? Who's feeling more antsy? You know, um, Houston is my, my my surprise team of the year. It's a team that I think will make a long uh, push in the postseason uh, throughout the regular season too as well. But I think Buffalo, they're a little angry about what happened in Baltimore. I think they come out of that win um, in, in Houston. They go to 4-1. Um, and, and win that game. Four o'clock slate, either 405, 425 East Coast time. Um, obviously, make the time adjustment if you need, if you're on the West Coast or whatever the case may be or wherever you may be. We got the 2-2 two two Raiders going to the 2-2 two two Broncos. Uh, obviously, Raiders had a good win last week um, in, in Las Vegas versus the Cleveland Browns. And, uh, you know, the Broncos have been playing a lot better too, man. You got to give it up, um, you know, to that team. You know, a lot of people didn't see them be sitting at 2-2 two you know, uh, you know, with four games played into the regular season, but I got, I see them coming out. I see them coming out three and two after that game. You know, um, I think they, they're just playing good football. They're starting to get a rhythm. Uh, Courtney Sutton is getting back uh, to his to his uh, to his rhythm, and um, I see them being three and two after that game. Then we got the one and three Cardinals headed to the uh, headed to San Francisco to face the two and two, uh, you know, two and two Niners. Um, you know, I got the Niners coming out of that game. I got the Niners coming out of that game. And also got my third pick for a touchdown. I got George Kittle um, as my third touchdown person of that week, of that slate. So George Kittle will have a touchdown in that game. The Niners come, um, come out of that victorious. We got the 2-2 two two Packers headed to the 1-3 um, you know, Los Angeles Rams. Obviously, the Packers um, didn't start the game off, you know, how they should have last week at home at Lambeau versus Minnesota. Got far behind, was able to make a comeback, but was not able to, uh, to win that game. But it was great to see Jordan Love back. Um, and the one and three Rams, you know, you know, being here in L.A., I root for the Rams. I like the Rams, but it's been tough, you know, with no Cooper Cup, you know, no Puka Nakua. Um, I got I got the Packers uh, going to three and two. We'll see if Jair Alexander will be back for that game. You know, to end the slate uh, with the four o'clock games, we got the, you know, the Giants 
headed all the way out west, man, to um, to take on the Seattle Seahawks. And the Seahawks have been playing good ball, man. Um, you know, you got Geno Smith, you got DK Metcalf, you know, you got our boy Jackson Smith, uh, you know, from 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 our the Ohio State Buckeyes. You know, um, they they just they just they just go hard, man. And I and I, and I like them coming out of that game, uh, winning that game. And the last game on the Sunday slate, we got the two and two Cowboys headed to the three and one Steelers. Cowboys have not looked good, man. Even though their record is two and two, um, the defense they can't stop the run. You know, and one thing about the Steelers right now. Um, they're running the ball. You know, Najee Harris, obviously, our guy Justin Fields always have the ability to pass and run. Um, and it's just hard going to Pittsburgh to win it, man. So, um, you know, that, that Sunday slate, that 825 game, I got Pittsburgh coming out victorious. Um, that is my picks for week five. Like I said, I got Justin Jefferson, touchdown. I got Derrick Henry, touchdown. I got George Kittle. Uh, touchdown uh, for my, my slate of games. And uh, I will see y'all next time I do my picks. DraftKings, King James. Signing off.